Campus Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of Mercyhurst Police and Safety. Remember, all students are innocent till proven guilty in a court of law. Oh, yeah. Um, an RA had called in that night and said that there was a tree that had fallen into the middle of the roadway on East 38th Street and uh, we went to block it off until someone could clean it up. Yeah, you're gonna have to call the city, tell them to call the streets department. It is right across from uh, 611 Briggs, 611 East 38th, and it's, uh, it's blocking the, the right-hand lane going westbound. Uh, it's fully blocking, you know, the westbound right-hand lane. Um, you know, it might help. If you want me to do that, I can do that. Okay, let me know. Being that it was East 38th Street, it's technically the city's jurisdiction. And before we can do anything in their jurisdiction, I had to have approval from my supervisor that night um, just to be sure that we were permitted to be there at that time. You guys able to contact the city and find out if they want me to set up over there? A couple people have almost hit that thing so far. Yeah, the city's been notified. Uh, you can set up for a while. If I have a call, I'll let you know. Uh, is that approved by Unit 3? Yeah, he says he does. 10 4. Do they have an estimated time when they're going to be up here? He probably drank too much tonight and fell over. <laughs> it. If this was at like 1.30, 2 o'clock, half of these, well not half, but you'd, you'd probably catch people that would slam on their brakes and everything because they'd obviously be drunk and stuff. And then, you know, they'll come over that hill right there and they'll think this is a DUI roadblock or something. The city uh, streets department will come up. They take care of the streets and stuff like, uh, well, like repairing streets, the lights, all that kind of stuff. They got their own streets department. I'm pretty sure that there's always somebody working. I'm pretty sure it's 24-7. So hopefully it won't be too long. Is it a banana? I don't know. I guess Bill for maintenance is going to come down and take a look at it. <laughs> you think it's possible to move it? I don't think we can lift that one. Yeah. They said they're going to be like two hours before they get here. So I got some flares and stuff, but I don't think they're going to sit up with this wind.
just no way. <laughs> that doesn't even budge. And I have a cut on my finger. It's on our property. I just yeah. Might be able to get the skid steer out. But I'm not going to bring it out in the middle of 38. I don't think it's, I don't think we're going to be able to move it. Cold, yeah. There's a lot of trees down. Yeah. That's hitting that yeah, other tree. What's that? We people aren't gonna grab that end. No. I don't think we're going to be able to move it. I just, yeah, it's too big. Chainsaw. That's the chainsaw job. Yeah. Oh, locked up. Dude. You don't work for the city or something, do you? No. Oh. <laughs> I work for Liberty Iron, actually, but. Oh, okay. Me and my girlfriend live up there and saw a tree, saw you guys trying to move it. It's like, oh, maybe we should. I'll stop and try to move it. Yeah, and these people driving by don't really care too much. Hey, Bill. You, you can't pull it with that gator, can you? You think it would? No? No, I it doesn't carry a lot of weight, but not this much. Yeah. Even just dragging it, though, it's like, you hook the gator up to it. <laughs> okay, I'm out of ideas. What if I stick a flare right on it? Just set it on fire. <laughs> yeah, let just burn it out of here. What the heck? All right, well, I'm going to start clearing out some of this leafy stuff. Nailed this before you got here to stop it. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see any hit it, they came pretty close. Okay, ready? <laughs> 